Dear students, welcome all of you to my channel, where we are learning most beautiful, amazing, and interesting things about biology. In last video, we learned about asexual reproduction and vegetative reproduction in plant, from which we are now fully understand about asexual and vegetative mode of reproduction in plants. If you haven't watched my last video before watching this, please go throw it last video, I will put description in link. Okay, now, here today we'll learn about, next topic, sexual reproduction in plant, as per your syllabus. Let's understand, it carefully. Dot. Sexual reproduction. In plants. Where the fusion, of games, or we can say, two compatible gametes, or, sex cells, is takes place, in mature organisms, and brings variation, in next upcoming generation. In mature plant, specialized structure, for sexual reproduction is flower. This flower having function, to produce haploid gametes, and to ensure that, fertilization will take place. Let's see, the typical structure, of flower. Typical flower. It consists of four, main parts, or floral whorls, as we already studied in last classes, that are calyx, corala, and region, and, gynecium. Calyx, that is group of, sepals, and, corala, which is group of, petals, both are accessory sex organ, among floral whorls. The remaining, and region, is male reproductive floral whorl, and, it produced, male gametes. Individual member of andrigen is called stamen. A stamen consists of filament, connective, and anther. Where gynecium is female reproductive floral whorl and produce female gametes. First, we'll learn about structure of anther that is a part of individual andrigen. We called it is stamen. Structure of anther. On the basis, number of lobes present in anther. Anther can be, monophagous, that is an anther, contains two, pollen sacs, and, anther can be, diphagous, where, anther contain, four pollen sacs. Generally diphagous, type of anther, are present, in most of the plant, and hence, it contain, four pollen sac, the condition now, called as, tetrasporongiate. If we, take transverse section, of mature anther, it shows, four layer wall, to protect, inner sporiginous tissue, that will make, pollen tetrads. The first, outer layer of anther, is, epidermis, that's a protecting cover, made up of, tabular cells. The second layer, is, endothecium, made up of radially, elongated, cells, with fibrous thickenings. Third is, middle layer, made up of thin walled, cells, but it, degenerated in mature, anther. Fourth, and, last one is, tapetum, which is very important, because it's a, nutritive layer, which supplies, nutrition to nurturing, sporiginous tissue. Inside theses for layer, sporiginous tissue, or microspore mother cells, are present, which divides, meiotically, to form tetrad, of haploid microspores, or, pollen grains, and, the process, or, event, is known as, microsporogenesis. Result of microsporogenesis, is a pollen grain, or a microspore, no, we'll see, structure of a pollen grain, or, microspore. Microspore, is surrounded by, two layered wall, called, sporoderm. The outer layer, exine, with, a substance, called, sporopollenate. This outer layer, also showing, germ pores, for emerging pollen tube. The inner wall layer, of sporoderm, is, intin. Intin, consists of, cellulose, and, pectin. Formation of microspore, is a beginning, of male gametophytes, male gametophytes that's mature pollen grain, here, undergoes, first mitotic division, to produce bigger, naked, vegetative cell, and small, thin walled, generative cell. The second mitotic division, is take place, in generative cell only, and, gives rise to, two non-motomale, gametes that's, either in pollen grain, or, in the pollen tube. Now, pollen grain is ready, to pollination, and fertilization. 
year students. Up to this, in this video, we covered the points that are What is sexual reproduction? Typical structure of flower Parts of and region Transverse section and structure of anther Microsporogenesis Structure of pollen grain or microspore aunt Development of male gametophytes in next video, we'll learn about female reproductive part, that is about gynecium.